Fires in the Merit TSA are a very regular part of the natural cycle. We do have fires every season. Over the last few years, we've seen this increase in these catastrophic wildfires. So we're seeing the intensity of the fires really increase in the number of hectares and the amount of the size burnt, and also the damage that's done is increasing. The crater fire was quite a large fire, and it was really blowing close to our homes. When that fire started, it was in our minds, how can we salvage? What could we get out of that without wasting it all? We see so much waste after forest fires. I think that's the first time we've ever been involved in post-fire log salvage. We sat down, we said, you know, when we look at it, we want to replace the trees and our medicinals and food plants and wildlife habitat areas. And that creates that balance. We thought of the good it could do, you know, for the animals and, you know, get in there and salvage it so it could get back and planting sooner. Our mind was, how do we get that healthy environment back? And then our people, we don't just worry about ourselves. Like, we think, well, what's going to happen to the animals? Where are they going to be displaced? Warehouser has the loggers who know this area. Upper and Lower Similkameen have the traditional knowledge, the knowledge around the cultural areas, and they challenge us how we really think about how the land should be managed. We'll do hydrological assessments, we'll do stream assessments, we'll do wildlife assessments, and then they build a plan that incorporates all of those values, and it's submitted into the Ministry of Forest. The Ministry of Forest approves it, and then equipment can start operating immediately after that. BC Timber Sales is a provincial entity, a part of the Ministry of Forests. We harvest approximately 20% of the annual oil cut in the province. We have principles to do sustainable forest management, reconciliation with First Nation communities, and to get market pricing data information. Post-fire, depending on the species, you have about two to five years for that tree is no longer viable in some of the mills. After a forest fire has gone through, what we should be doing is relocating the harvest that would otherwise be direct towards green, healthy, standing forests. And we want to as quickly as possible be harvesting these damaged or dead stands. It makes no sense to be moving green, living stands when there are dead, damaged stands that really ought to be being harvested. And we can produce high quality lumber from the trees as though they were never burnt in the first place. Following a fire, the wood is not absorbing the water the way it used to. That wood is drying out very quickly and it checks. When that fiber begins to check, one, the value of the wood is lost very quickly. Also, the manufacturing processes associated with that wood are challenged because it hampers production. And so we want to get that wood off the landscape into the mills quickly so that we're maximizing that value and ensuring that we're able to do it in a safe way. So we take the, the burnt trees out so that they don't become a fire hazard. I think that's better for a kind of a new start. You know, our warehouse or sawmill located in Princeton is dependent on fiber supply. The town is heavily reliant on that sawmill being in that location. In order to ensure viability of that mill for the long term, we need fiber supply. And that means we gotta be good stewards of the land. And I think that means harvesting fire salvage timber promptly. Post-harvest, we do mix species planting, which allows for that forest to come back quicker, which helps with the hydrology ungulates, and it also helps soil stabilization as well. It's a collaborative approach between us and government and the companies to say, well, instead of looking at it just from one aspect of replanting trees, but it's just looking at what do we need for all of us. We look at the restoration, we have to start doing the post-fire, post-logging assessment you know, what we need to come back or what we need to plant, that is a start. And with that comes the partners of those medicinals and plant foods and that. A fire is not the end of a forest, it's just the refreshing of the forest. Fires are a part of the ecosystem and in the interior of BC, this is how ecosystems begin again. We can actually help restore the landscape on a quicker rate than what Mother Nature can do because we can plant trees and help the recovery a bit quicker. Mother Nature will end up doing it, but it does take a bit longer. We do have civil culture responsibility on these sites, so we're returning them to productive young forests, and it's very exciting and invigorating to think and to see how these forests are growing from young, what appear to be plantations, into young forests and eventually into mature timber that are going to be harvested again in the future. 
When we have these catastrophic wildfires, we know that it's going to be cyclical. We're going to see recovery. Wildfire salvage allows us to do that a little bit more quickly and expedite that process. And it allows us to be a little bit more creative on how we do that recovery. You're actually getting to give back into the forest. You're taking something that's been damaged and you're building into what the future could be.